folks, Bob Warfield here from CNC Cookbook. I'm here to give you another installment on our G Wizard Editor University video series. These are short videos. We make each video about a different feature of the product and keep them short so it's easy for you to get the information you need to use that feature. This time around we're going to talk about the editors, uh, the G Wizard editors uh, debugger and simulator capabilities. So these are what you use to get into your G code and figure out what the heck it's really doing and try to look for problems with it. You can access uh, the debugger either by uh, going to the menu here uh, to look at all the options or I prefer to just use the the toolbar that's here to access everything. Uh, you've always got your back plot showing and the hints and so on are updated and if I edit the program at all it'll immediately go back through and regenerate all this information uh, but the simulator debugger is actually a particular mode of running the software and you trigger it uh, by hitting the rewind okay so now we've been switched into uh, what we call simulator mode and you'll see there's some things that are different here uh, right away so I'm gonna just slide that down a little bit to make a little more room for our back plot but basically you've got this new area here that's telling you all about what's going on. Uh, the software has also entered a mode where you can no longer edit the g-codes. Uh, you're just simply running the simulator. Now I could start it running, just hit the play button and it'll run through pretty quickly and you know show you what it would look like for the machine to be uh, doing this work. Okay, So I just did that very quickly. Um, but really what's more interesting is to go more slowly and to do that you have a couple of choices you can use our little tortoise hair capability here to slow it way down uh, but I often like to just go into single block mode here uh, and what we're doing with single block is each time I click the play you see it advances one single uh, block or line of code in CNC programming we call a line of code a block uh, each time I click play so we've got a couple of ways to speed that up. I can hit five steps, right, and that's going to jump ahead five steps at a time, um, right, and it's running through the, through the code there. Um, I can jump back out of the simulator entirely. I just hit the stop button and I'm back out. Uh, I can restart that simulator uh, and go at it again. So again, let's, let's, uh, let's hit the, the, uh, single step mode and, and go five steps at a time right so we're watching it so we kind of get to where we want to be uh, it's a little faster than hitting one step at a time All right. or there's some other things you can do you can jump forward makes it keep going until it hits the next uh, G0 command we're in G0 so every line is one but now we've gone to G1 and it jumped ahead a fair little distance uh, you can jump ahead to a G04. That's a dwell. Uh, why would you want to go to a G04? Well, it's just an easy way. You can stick a, a, a short dwell in the program, in mo almost any program, and not really have an effect on that program. And so this lets you stick a dwell in as a way to get to exactly the spot you're interested in uh, very quickly. Um, we can jump ahead to the next tool change. We can jump ahead to the next... Uh, call out to a subprogram or go to. So these are some of the shortcuts we have uh, to get the program to move forward to where we want it to more quickly. Now as it's executing, uh, we've got information being displayed here. What's our current XYZ position? What's our speeds and feeds look like? Which tool have we selected? The coolant? Uh, how long did it take us to get to this point in the program? I've got six minutes and 41 seconds. Uh, these are the different modes that are in effect. Uh, G-code is a very modal sort of a medium. It knows, for example, are we in rapids? Are we in uh, G01 doing lines? Are we doing arcs? Are we in a can cycle? All of that information is carried out here and what we can see is we're G00 rapids. Uh, we have best speed set uh, with G64. Our current plane is the XY plane, G17. We're in inches mode. Uh, you know, the work offset is, is here. Uh, we're in absolute uh, uh, here on G90, and we got relative IJK 
arcs. So all kinds of information is available. You've also got your uh, hint down here, which is full of uh, additional information uh, about what's going on. This one here is not all that interesting, but uh, we could step ahead here. Let's see if we can find a, an arc. Yeah, here's an arc, and it's telling us all kinds of things about this arc that are otherwise they're a little bit hard to track down. I mean, uh, you know, the, the end point of the arc is here, the center coordinates are here, the arc's radius is uh, 0.0468, uh, the arc runs from 189.3 degrees to 179 degrees, uh, it's actually running a total of 350 degrees, uh, so lots of interesting information is available here in the hints to help you with your programming. So that's basically the deal on the uh, debugger simulator. When you're tired of it and you want to go back to editing, uh, just click the stop, as I say, and you're back and ready to edit some more. All right. Thanks very much. We hope you'll try GWizard Editor, and uh, talk to you soon.